Both of these problems involve dividing by powers of 10. Now, dividing by powers of 10 is actually pretty simple. What you need to do is you need to first find the decimal place, and then all that's going to happen is the decimal place will stay where it is, and the other numbers will shift to the right, depending on the power of 10. Let's start by looking at this on the left here. We have 185. If you remember, I said the first step is to find the decimal point. If you don't see a decimal point, that's because it's a whole number, and the decimal point will actually come at the end. So here, this would actually be 185.0. There's no value after the decimal point. Now what we're doing is we're dividing by 10 to the third. This exponent here, this 3, tells us how many places each digit is going to move. So we started with 185.0. The decimal point is going to go down exactly where it was. And now we're going to have our same digits. I'm going to add a couple more places. What will happen is each decimal point will move 3 to the right. I'm sorry, each place will move 3 to the right, each digit. So this 5 is going to move 1, 2, 3. The 5 will now be here. This 8 will move 1, 2, 3. It will remain next to the 5. And this 1 will also move over 3, 2, 3, 1. So you can see we have no value before our decimal point. That means that our answer is 0.185. And a lot of the times you'll see people use a 0 before the decimal point if there's no value, just to make sure that everybody knows there's no value before that decimal point. 0 0.185 is the correct answer. Let's try it again over here. We start with 19.6. Remember that the decimal point remains where it is and the, the different digits are what move. So 3, 4, 5, our decimal point is going to go directly down here and the other digits are going to move 2 to the right. We're dividing so it moves right so, let's start with this 6. It will be moving 2 to the right, 1, 2, down here. The 9 will also move 2 to the right, as will the 1, 2 to the right. So, we have 0.196, and remember that very often people will put a 0 in front of the decimal point to make sure everybody knows there is no value before the decimal point for our correct answers.